Hi, I'm Rebecca and welcome back to my kitchen. And yes, this really is my kitchen. Today, we're going to make a chocolate cake from scratch. You don't need the box mix. All you have to do is do your dry measurements together and then your wet ingredients together. But before we continue, please hit the like button and please share this video. Also subscribe to our channel. That helps us get my videos out there. Now, I came across when I was shopping this special dark Hershey's cocoa and I was going to make a chocolate cake just using regular cocoa but I saw this dark chocolate and it just oh sounded so good so I bought it and I'm going to run down what I have in here and it's so easy to put together there is two cups of sugar one and three-fourths cups of flour, three-fourths cup of the dark cocoa, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of soda, and one teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to turn that on and get it mixed up a little there. Now my wet ingredients. And it's basically what you would put in your cake mix. It's two eggs, one cup of milk, a half a cup of oil, and two teaspoons of vanilla. And I have my boiling water over there, which you will see what I'm going to do with at the very end. And let's get this in before I lose all of the good stuff. And we'll mix this up. And look at that. Look how dark that is. Now let's get it going. This is where you're going to get a lot of moisture in this cake. And we will need to work fast. Let me turn this down and let me get some of this all scraped down in there and check my bottom. Oh, that is just so dark and looks so delicious. So next thing I'm going to do is turn this down very low and I'm going to start adding my hot water slowly. I don't want any of it coming out and scorching me. This is really going to add some moisture to the cake. See, it's going to flop out. So I'm going to turn that off. And I'm just going to stir this in the rest of the way. And I'm just going to mix this up. Get all that goodness down there. And what I'm going to do is pour this in a pan. You can pour this into two eight by nines. I'm sorry, two eight inch, two nine inch, or one nine by 13. And that's what I'm going to put mine in. 350 oven. And you're going to see that this is going to be very watery but it is going to be delicious. I make my regular one like this one too. The one, if you don't have the dark, you can just replace the regular cocoa in this recipe. Look at that. And I sprayed my pan with my Joy and I'm gonna open up the oven and we're going to stick this in for 35 
30 to 35 minutes. When it, when we come back, when this is coming out of the oven, I am going to make the dark chocolate homemade buttercream frosting. So don't go anywhere. Hi, and welcome back to my kitchen. As you can see, the cake is done. Um, it took about 35 minutes in the oven and it's really dark. I can't believe how dark it is. Um, but you can see it's nice and moist. Accidentally, my thumb hit that coming out of the oven, but that's okay because it's going to be hidden by the frosting. For the frosting, you're going to need one stick of butter, and that's a half a cup. And you'll need two thirds cup of dark cocoa, three cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one third cup of milk. So I have my milk here, and I'm going to start by getting the butter kind of mixed up. And then it says to alternate all of this, the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients with the milk. Let me grab a spoon or something. I'm get some of this down so I can pour it in there. I'm going to add some milk. Just start adding more of the powdered sugar. I'm anxious to see what this um, is going to come out looking like. That cake was really dark, so it's kind of interesting to see what this is going to turn out like. I'm going to start turning this up. Ooh. Add some more milk. And I'll add the rest of the milk. The rest of the powdered sugar. This makes about two cups of frosting. I'm gonna shut it off. I do have the flex beater in there, but I made a mess, so. Very good. not that real sweet buttercream because of the dark chocolate. Let's get it going. We're going to beat it for a few minutes. Let some air get in it and fluff it up. If you were making a uh, layered cake, I would probably double this recipe uh, so you would have plenty of frosting to put between the layers. And I'm going to take that out. Oh, that's nice and smooth. I'm going to kind of get this off. I've made a mess, but that's what they make soap and water for. And I'm going to put this in three different spots on my cake. I used to decorate cakes. I took all the courses at Michael's for Wilton, and I used to charge and make my own cakes. And I've made a lot of different ones. Used to make them for family, friends, little kids. And I have my 
spatula here and just going to start pushing the icing around or the frosting, whatever you want to call it. And it's nice and smooth and I really like that. That it's smooth and easy. That cake came out very, very flat. And what I mean by that is that it was nicely even, so I'm not trying to pile up icing in a couple different places to make it look good. And I'm gonna get this like this and get it nicely iced. Make sure I cover up some of these cracks in it. And try not to go down too deep because you can really bring the cake up and you'll start getting crumbs. So if you want to make it nice looking, just put some swirls in it. And there you go. There's your cake. Let's cut out a piece. And let's see what it looks like inside. That cake's top was really moist and just really looked good. Let's see if I can get it out in one decent piece. Oh, look at that. Mmm, that frosting is really good. Oh yeah, that frosting is good, that cake is good. Look how moist that is in there from that water. Let me try it. Mmm. Rich and chocolatey. Kind of reminds me of one of those little Hershey dark chocolates. And that's how good it is. Well, thank you for coming along with me. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We have some wonderful things coming. And you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.